There's a lot of misconceptions I hear all the time about cutting. Depending on who YouTube decides to show this to, there might be some things you've never considered in this video. Here are some pieces of advice to help you keep your hard-earned muscle on a cut. Keep lifting intensely. This is the most important thing in my opinion. A lot of people seem to think that when you cut, you need to drop a bunch of weight from your sets and just go light and get a pump. This is not the case. There's nothing wrong with getting a pump, but if you want to keep the muscle you spent so much time building, you need to keep your intensity as close as possible to what it was when you were bulking. What most people need to hear is you don't need to randomly go light because you're in cut mode. Trust me, when you get lean enough, it'll happen anyways. Don't have too little or too high of a deficit. Keep your deficit in a spot where you can maintain it for the duration of your cut without suffering. I'm speaking to the general lifters here and not competitive bodybuilders. They have to suffer quite a bit to get as lean as they do. But if you just want to get lean and keep most of your muscle, and assuming you're starting your cut around 18-20% to body fat with a goal of getting to maybe 10-12% to body fat, a moderate 500 calorie deficit for 10-16 to weeks should be plenty for most people. Walk a lot so you can eat more. This is a big one. If you get 8-10k to steps a day when feasible, it will majorly benefit your cut, allowing you to eat slightly more while losing fat more easily. Being sedentary on a cut will make it a lot harder than it needs to be. Don't change your routine too much. Don't hop from your current program that built all your muscle to a different one just because you're cutting. Keep everything pretty much the same, just be mindful of your recovery, as that will suffer a bit from being in a deficit. Don't get too lean. Anything way below 10% for most people is not worth cutting down to for anything other than a challenge for yourself or to take some pictures for as long as you're able to maintain it. If your goal is to build muscle long term, just get lean enough to allow yourself enough room for another long lean bulk. Drop the weight off your sets when you need to. If you need to drop weight during your cut, it shouldn't be for no reason. But if you feel form will suffer to get the reps because you genuinely are losing strength, this is a good reason to drop the weight. It's not form over weight or vice versa, it's form and weight. Stay off the Instagram explore page. This goes for if you're a natural lifter like myself. If you spend an hour a day looking at competition ready steroid users who are 270 pounds at 5% body fat, it may lead you down a road that causes you to cut into oblivion. A natural lifter at 5% body fat is not going to look like these guys you see on Instagram, especially if you're not at the advanced or elite level. This is not to say you can't draw any inspiration from people who are on PEDs, but if you are natural, do yourself a favor and consume that content in moderation. So what should you expect on your cut? Expect your strength to drop a little bit, especially towards the end of the cut and especially on pushing movements like the overhead press and the bench press but try your best to keep what you've built while you were bulking. If you can replicate your sets from your bulk closely with the same form, muscle loss is likely going to be minimal. You'll most likely be more happy with how you look at the end of a cut or near the end of a cut, but don't let this distract you too much if your goal is to build a lot of muscle long term. Enjoy the results of your cut and then get back to lean bulking if you want to keep building muscle. Thanks for watching.